Thank you very much. Thank you. We're back, and I have the results here in my hand. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we'll I have we, the uh, awards. Before we get into the, uh, the announcing of the winners, shall we bring our judges back out? Please give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> Athena, Brian, and Ashley. Welcome back. So, judges, before we, uh, we find out who indeed has won in each category and who is our best in show today, how was the deliberation for you guys? It took a while. So hard. <laughs> it was so hard. Um, but very impressive in terms of what I'm learning in this process as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have any arguments? Not arguments. <laughs> Not arguments. Were, 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 you, were you kind of... Were there two of you agreed one way and somebody else who wanted somebody else to win? How was, how was all that? I think it was all a good collaboration. Excellent. And nobody got a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for, for what you've done. Yes, Ashley. Thank you. And I have to say, so Brian works in licensing, and it was really helpful. Um, he knows so much of the detail, mm. you know, so knowing if in their costumes, the accuracy and, you know, the, the, the likeness. So it was helpful to have Brian's eye. Absolutely. Yes, he said at the beginning he was going to be looking at the finer details, so he's a hard taskmaster, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, without further ado, let's find out who indeed you decided would win this cosplay competition, this championship here this afternoon. So, I'm uh, going to announce the winners in reverse order. First of all, starting with the best likeness category. Oh yes, of course, I'm gonna bring everyone out first, absolutely. So let's bring all the contestants out in the best likeness category. Please welcome them on stage again. There they are. Captain Phasma, Ray, there's Hawkins, there's Slave Leia there. And they all have Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren's there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll let you take that in for a moment. What a wonderful selection of characters there. Quite brilliant. Okay. So, contestants, prepare yourselves. You've all done very well, but there are only three winners in this category. In third place, we have... Christian Zick as Captain Phasma. <laughs> In second place, it's McKenna Fellows as Ahsoka Tano. Congratulations. Congratulations, well done. And in first place, in the best likeness category, we have Samantha Kelly as Ray. Bask in the glory for a moment. Well done, Samantha. Congratulations to all our runners-up. I'm going to ask them to exit the stage right now, please. And the, uh, the three winners in this category, you're going to move to the back of the stage and, uh, and wait there until we announce the best in show. Fantastic. Right, now we move on to our under-13s. Could you please welcome the under-13s back onto the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Here they are. There's Wicked again. Little mini stormtrooper. Fantastic. We'll let them all line up there. What a brilliant display here. Okay. So, boys and girls, listen up. I'm going to say we're going to announce three winners here, but you really are all winners for what you've done and what you've achieved today. So, well done to each and every one of you for being here. You've done a terrific job. So, in third place, I'm delighted to say it's Lizzie as Wicket. Well done, Lizzie. Fantastic. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant. 
in second place. Savannah Rennie Eddings as FN59901. Well done. Move forward onto the line now. That's it. Super. Excellent. And in first place in the under 13s category, we have Natalie Robinson as Sabine Wren. Congratulations. Well done to you three, and congratulations to our runners up. Let's hear it for them. Thank you. Brilliant stuff. Well done. Hello, we got a stray walk running away. <laughs> Fabulous. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back on our group, the imaginatively named group category. Welcome the groups back on. There they are. Oh, hello. Here's trouble. Oh, hello. Ooh. Look at that. The Jawa just gave me something as opposed to stealing something. But they've scavenged it from somewhere else. <laughs> Okay, well done to all of you. What a fantastic display. This is wonderful. Okay. Third in this category, we have Jay and Jimmy Walther as Ankar Plutz and one of his thugs. In second place, we have the IE Squad Joas. <laughs> They're excited about that. Look at that. <laughs> And in first place in the groups category, it's Anna Sawyer's Old Republic. Fabulous. Our oh, commiserations to our, our two Ewoks there. I do. Hang on a minute, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Mark, wait, I, think, wait, wait, um, wait. I think perhaps we could, uh, since there's only kind of four contestants, kind of four groups in this category, should we, uh, let's give them a fourth prize. So, uh, yeah, fourth place. Well done, Ewoks. In fact, you know, uh, I'm feeling in particularly generous mood today. So what we're going to do, we're going to award a fourth prize in each and every category in the championships. There they go. Okay, so uh, could our top three in that category now move to the back of the stage as we welcome on our last group. <laughs> Please give it up for the most elaborate and fantasy characters. <laughs> Here they are. Welcome Here back. <laughs> wow, look at this display here. It's fantastic. The Jawas there eyeing up the uh, eyeing up the stormtrooper there. They rather like the look of him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, mm. your most elaborate and fantasy characters. Of the team. Here are the winners. In third place, it's Chumbawamba as Triple Zero. <laughs> Marvellous, well done. 
come forward. I'm rather worried about being stepped upon here. That's a bit further forward now. Whoa! <laughs> this always happens in these competitions. The largest character stands next to me. <laughs> Makes them look more impressive and me look more ridiculous. Okay. In second place, it's Jedi Manda as Queen Amidala. And in first place in this category, it is Brad as a Crystal Trooper. <laughs> Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these guys. They put in a terrific effort. Not only in the making of these costumes, but the wearing of them and the performing in them as well. So hats off to all of you guys. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so the winners of the last category, if you could make your way up to the centre line here, and all of our other winners from the other categories, please move forward now and form a line across the centre of the stage. That's it. Okay. That's it. It doesn't matter what order you're in. Hello. I'll go around here then, shall I? That's it. There they all are. So, ladies and gentlemen, here are your finalists in this cosplay championship. And what an impressive bunch of characters they are indeed. Um, but there can only be one best in show, I'm afraid. And I'm going to announce that now. Ladies and gentlemen, your best in show in the celebration 2017 cosplay championship is. It's Brad as the Crystal Trooper. Fantastic. You've all done a brilliant job. Well done, everyone. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our judges, Athena, Brian and Ashley. Thank you very much to all of you. Thanks to all our contestants here. Thank you to Mark, my co-host this afternoon. Thank you very much. And please give it up for your host for the cosplay, Warwick Davis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, at seven o'clock right here on the stage, we have the brilliant Carl Newman and his radio play, Smuggler's Revenge, with a few special guests. So please check that out if you can. Uh, otherwise, have a great celebration and may the force be with you. Take care. Bye-bye. Well done, everyone.